Morning folks, it's Wednesday the 5th of August and this morning we read together Psalm 39. I said to myself, I will watch what I do and not sin in what I say. I will hold my tongue when the ungodly are around me. But as I stood there in silence, not even speaking of good things, the turmoil within me grew worse. The more I thought about it, the hotter I got, igniting a fire of words. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. You have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. We are merely moving shadows and all our busy rushing ends and nothing. We heap up wealth not knowing who will spend it. And oh, so Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Rescue me from my rebellion. Do not let fools mock me. I am silent before you. I won't say a word, for my punishment is from you. But please stop striking me. I am exhausted by the blows from your hand. When you discipline us for our sins, you consume like a moth which is precious to us. Each of us is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears, for I am your guest, a traveller passing through, as my ancestors were before me. Leave me alone so I can smile again before I am gone and exist no more. Amen. The psalmist is crying out to God very much. He feels that God is punishing him. He feels that God is judging him on his actions. And he asks God to leave him alone. I wonder if we ever feel that way. Do you ever feel like you've had so much and you cannot take any more? And we naturally turn to God and we blame God. And we say, God, why me? Why me? Why my family? Why does this have to happen? It's hard. There's no easy answer. We can start and talk about how this is a fallen world full of sin. And we can start and talk about how actually it's not God that causes evil. It's, it's Satan that does it. Sometimes it's hard to hear. Sometimes we, we can't hear it because of where we are. Because of the place of suffering that we're in. And we naturally turn to God and we cry out to God. And we tell him how we're feeling. Maybe that's part of behind, behind the psalmist says he talks about being silent before God. He's afraid of saying too much. He's afraid of expressing too much. But you might be silent with your mouth. But God still hears in our hearts. He still hears what we are saying. He still knows how we are feeling. Just pour it out to him. It helps so much when if you do pour it out. It helps so much when if you do just let it go. Um... We can share it all with the Lord. He doesn't judge us on it. Yes, we're told that he judges our actions, but we've got to remember as well that as followers of Christ, if we've, if we've turned to him, God's forgiven us for our actions. He's forgiven us our sins. And yes, we are told in the Bible that one day we'll give an account of ourselves, but we'll not be judged because we have Christ as our saviour. So when the world is piling in on top of you, when things are overwhelming, when you feel like you can't take anything more, just tell God. Let him know. He knows anyway, but just tell him. And he will be there with you, helping you every step of the way. Let's pray about that this morning. Father, again, thank you for the promises from your word. Thank you that we have it, first of all, so freely.